Hey, my name is Alison McLeod and I'm from Applecross Community Company. I'm the local development officer, uh, which is a role funded by Highlands and Islands Enterprise and Leader under their Community Account Management Scheme. Uh, and at the moment, we are, well, our overall aim is sustainable development of Applecross, which is quite a fragile small community on the northwest coast. Um, our central project is uh, the development of a hydro scheme, which will be an income generator for the community. Uh, we're quite well down the road with that. We're hoping to be constructing it in 2014. Um, and we're doing a range of other projects. Um, we're, at the moment, just putting a pilot in for a broadband system, a community-owned broadband system, which will operate by line of sight from Broadford. Our broadband's appallingly poor, uh, 0.39 kilobytes is quite common in my house um, and I work from home so it really limits what I can do. Uh, this will bring us up to towards 8 meg um, but as I say it's just a pilot project we're connecting about 10 households or businesses and we're looking for funding to serve the, the whole peninsula maybe next spring and we the idea of that is uh, as the main driver is uh, work related we're hoping that it can allow um, a, a broader range of, of work opportunities um, that people can come to Applecross and set up their own work from Applecross and, and because the broadband's reasonably decent they can, they can manage. Um, so we're hoping it might allow some of the able young people that leave Applecross to do higher, uh, further education to actually come back should they want to further down the line. We have at the moment got um, somebody working in the Heritage Centre which is a a three-year funded post and he and his partner would love to stay in Applecross but they can't work um, without broadband so if we don't watch it they'll be away after the three years so it's, it's that sort of person and people like them that we want to be retaining. Our population's falling so it's very important that we, we can bring these sort of people back or uh, people from outside you know they've never lived in Applecross as well. We're very welcome to come and stay um, but the, the other problem main problem is housing, um, which is not an easy one to tackle. Uh, there just is almost no affordable housing. People have to live in caravans and shared staff accommodation and even a yurt at one point. Um, sharing housing in very poor condition and all that sort of thing. So we don't quite know how we're going to sort that out. Just I think setting up the community company and, and getting it underway, and getting people on board um, and convincing the majority of the community that it's, it's the way to go because it's quite a new way of doing things. Um, Applecross is quite insular in some ways. Um, people don't necessarily do a lot of networking with people outside so it's quite new and astonishing to some people that this sort of thing is the way to go. They don't realise maybe to what extent it's happening elsewhere. So I think, I think actually just setting up and getting it going and, and bringing everybody on board has been the main thing because it's going to provide answers. Uh, it's around 200 people um, and it's in the northwest coast, kind of opposite the mainland, the kind of central part of Skye but on the mainland. It's at the highest, one of the highest roads in the country into it so it's, it's almost like an island in some ways.